Okay, in this scene we're going to talk about causes of hemoptysis. And there's already a famous mnemonic for that. And that's battle camp. Battle camp is going to remind us of the causes of hemoptysis. So let's have a visual for it. In this battle camp over here, there are lots of targets that they're shooting. Let's look at these targets, because these targets over here are going to remind us of the causes of hemoptysis. So the first thing we see is the broccoli. That reminds us of bronchitis and bronchiectasis. Then we see the asparagus for aspergilloma. The tumor guy shows up in our tumor videos for tumor. Then we have TB. Okay, fine, we'll just have to have some letters there for TB, tuberculosis. The lungs over here have some sort of abscess to remind us of lung abscess. And if you take a look over here, there's a rock in the pulmonary artery. An embolus, specifically a pulmonary embolus, is another cause for hemoptysis. And an embolus is a blockage of the pulmonary artery or vessels. Here we have jello. Jello reminds us of coagulability because jello, jello coagulates. But when there's a problem of coagulability, known as coagulopathy, represented by the jello exploding, that's another cause of hemoptysis. On top of the jello, we have the three A's. For the three A's that cause hemoptysis, autoimmune disorders, AVM, and alveolar hemorrhage. Then we have the heart over here, and the heart has an M in the mitral valve. Double remember, mitral stenosis. Mitral stenosis is another cause of hemoptysis. And finally, the gnome that shows up in a lot of videos to remind us of pneumonia. Gnome for pneumonia. All right, that's our scene on the causes of hemoptysis. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.